In previous videos, I've said that I don't really trust the results of IQ tests to measure how intelligent someone is for the simple fact that the desire to succeed, the desire to do well in an IQ test is guaranteed to influence the outcome of the results, perhaps to the point where the results are useless. Um, anyone familiar with Chinese history will tell you that the Chinese have a long tradition of examination. To enter the Chinese civil service was often the only way of advancement in society apart from being born into the nobility. Uh, families would put themselves uh, decades into debt and put near superhuman pressure on their sons to succeed at the Mandarin imperial civil service exams to get into the um, Chinese uh, civil service. The service directly uh, uh, subordinate to the emperor. It's like the modern civil service today in most countries. There was only one way in exams and you got one shot at it in your entire life. You succeeded, you were on the gravy train for life and so was your family. You failed and it was an absolute catastrophe because all the time and investment was for nothing and now you were in debt and uh, your fortunes were guaranteed to go down the tube and you were going to take your whole family with you. Today, the Koreans and Japanese have something called exam hell, where young students, uh, high school, university, and sometimes elementary school students, are put through a psychotically grueling series of examinations to get them into higher schools, which again will guarantee a spot on the gravy train. You do extremely well on those exams, or at least, uh, uh, more importantly, better than anyone else, and you're on the bus to success. You fail, well, you're uh, stuck with a room with a view uh, for the rest of your career, i.e. a kind of job where you might as well just stare out the window because that's how much satisfaction you'll ever get from it. You're not going anywhere. Now, I'm not saying that because these uh, cultures developed a society where exams were absolutely import, uh, essential to any success in life, it somehow affected their genetics. That's absurd. What I'm saying is, it certainly would inform how a person coming from one of these cultures would approach an IQ test. What would be in that person's mind when they sat down to be evaluated in that way if they came from a culture where everything that you ever are is going to be determined on an exam. Not every Chinese person or every Japanese or Korean or whatever um, was subjected to any of these tests, but they came from a culture where everyone was familiar with it. You pass on that exam and you do well in life. You fail and suddenly you've hit the biggest brick wall there is in our society. The desire to do well on a test can alter the results far more than any actual proficiency in anything that is re revealed by the, the uh, test results. If you want to do something, if this seems extremely important to you, you'll do well at it. If it doesn't seem all that important to you, it'll be reflected in the results. Thank you.